G'day everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I've got a bit of a problem with the Hypercube printer. I've been getting some really good results off it for a while. Anyway, I started printing some larger things and the geometry was just up the shit on it. Um, so this video is about the issue I found and basically what I put it down to and how I got to that. So uh, let's take a look at it now. Well here we are back at the Hypercube Evolution printer and I struck a problem. Um, everything had been going pretty good until I started printing some stuff the other day and um, this came off it. This is not meant to be curved like that, it's meant to be straight. Uh, these are meant to be parallel and square and as you can see it just looks like a piece of shit. Not good at all. Anyway, I've been trying to track this down and I printed some squares in each corner of the uh, print bed uh, just to try and you know, figure out what was going on and they showed that the, the geometry was all skew if all over the place. Anyway, sort of a bit dumbfounded. Anyway, been looking into this now for, for a little while and I've checked the squareness of the frame and everything like that and it's great absolutely perfect and also uh, you know made sure that the X gantry was square in the frame and that looked okay as well anyway this morning I came out to just thinking okay well there's something wrong with the geometry and um, let me just home the printer uh, so I've got repetitive set up and I'm just using off the iPad here to drive it around still haven't uh, printed a case for the uh, display yet but you know we, we're getting there it's, you know. anyway look what I'll do I'll just go down to move I'll just set it for a hundred maybe and um, watch what happens when I move the X gantry across. You can see that moving. Obviously, that's not meant to move like that. We're just moving the X gantry across. So, you know, that's shit. <laughs> um, and, oh, uh, fucking get it here if I can get the target yeah you'll notice it does the same thing on the uh, left and the right side now the other thing is <clears throat> I've actually tightened up the belts a little bit more when I was trying to actually figure out what the hell's going on here just have a look at the way the belt moves when I you'll notice it riding up riding up and down on the pulley um, and have a look at it along here as I move it just here you'll see that the bottom belt seems to have a bit of a rise in it or, you know, dipping up and down and carrying on It's all over the shop. So anyway, look, what I'm going to put this down to is uh, the belts I got from China are just shit. So they're, they're meant to be they're meant to be polyurethane or steel reinforced polyurethane belts, but um, look, they just look like shit. So I've ordered 
some more belts um, from a local supplier which is probably from China anyway but look when they come in I'm going to uh, swap the belts over and fingers crossed that's going to resolve that issue but uh, I'll let you know what happens when they come in if you like what I'm doing then please do like the video if you'd like to see more then please subscribe and don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new and I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.